Would you uh, say that those maybe uh, newbies or those who want to get into road cycling, what should be the right budget in mind? Because maybe people might have the impression that oh, road cycling is such an expensive sport, only like rich people you know go for this kind of sport. A uh, good question. Okay, I try to slow down. I think I just I speak too fast. Yeah. Apologies for <laughs> that. Uh, nervous. Uh. Okay. So, um, I'm I'm I don't mean to offend anyone. I always I'm a firm believer of buy cheap, buy twice. Okay. Please don't bash me. Uh. But uh, I also uh, uh, feel that affordable bikes is very important. It's, it's to, supposed to make it accessible to everyone. Okay. Uh, Melvin, thank you so much for coming. You've been a um, member of my channel for about three months, you've just mentioned. Uh, I recognize your username. We had a chat. I saw this Cervelo. Sorry, this Cervelo, what again? Uh, Cervelo <laughs> Caledonia 5. Caledonia yeah. 5. I'm only familiar with the S series, I think it's called, right? Is it S, S3, S5, right? Yeah, I think there's an S series. Maybe this continue and now the S5. La. Right. Yeah, we, we, we go into, into the, the Tour de France. I see. We'll yeah. go into the bike a little bit. Um, as per my usual agenda, we'll talk about more about you first. Um, you are a relatively new cyclist to the scene. Yes, uh, I introduced myself. Sure, go uh, ahead. Did, I did you mention my name yet? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, hello, YouTube. Mm. Hello, fans of uh, Umpa Lumpa Cycling. My name is Melvin. I am a COVID cyclist. <laughs> right. So this is my bike. Uh, yeah. Your question again. Uh, uh, yeah. How do you? Let's talk about uh, you. How, how long have you been cycling? Oh, yeah, the duration. Yeah. Uh, Am I supposed to mention like like what month are we filming right now? Uh, okay, but okay. never mind. No, no, it's August anyway. So probably okay. people watching maybe December. So August, right? Exactly twelve months ago is where I pick up cycling mm. uh, with affordable bike, right? Many influencers do it. Part of it is watching your show, uh, as mentioned uh, previously, uh, and also my neighbor, like, ex neighbor, in fact, because I move out, mm. right? So ex neighbor, he just cycles every day, and it just wow me lah. You know, because I, I keep wondering what's so fun about cycling. Because prior to, to these 12 months, right, I've not cycled for maybe 20 years. Mm. Yeah, so really, really new cyclist. It's not like something that, I, it's just entirely a new hobby. Right, so uh, I, I bought uh, my affordable bike uh, for, for a start. Then after watching the videos, or rather, okay, let's not talk about the videos first because there are some times that I need to ride on the road. Uh, with a foldable bike, it's pretty dangerous because the wheels are small. So, you know, the maneuverability and, and all that, I, I just felt that a road bike would be more suitable. Then, of course, uh, watching your shows, I watch a lot of GCN as well. And Which one is better? <laughs> oh, that's a tough question. Different just content. Kidding, just different kidding. content. They don't, they don't do interviews, right? They don't interview real people. I mean, to be fair, GCN is really a commercial show, right? So, so some something just take a pinch of a salt, lah. Yeah, is that the correct term? Okay, <laughs> you you guys get what I mean, right? Uh, yeah, don't don't believe everything you you watch on on GCN. These are the real interviews, bike bike, seat, bike seaters and all that stuff. Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, that's where I felt that, okay, maybe with a road bike, I can travel further distances and and such, and with more. Uh, stability, I would think so. Yeah, mm. but I do enjoy foldable bike a lot. Do you still ride the folding bike? Uh, actually, more than my road bike. Oh, oh how come? Yeah, because uh, with friends. Mm. Yeah, most of my friends are still riding on PCN and stuff. And everything about cycling, right, is the uh, wait, what's the word? Uh? Camaraderie, mm. right? I also watch uh, Winston's yeah. video. <laughs> you know, and, and 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 that's the feeling. You know, when I get uh, with my friends, I get cycling with my friends. I don't, I, I used to cycle alone when, when I start because I don't want to like hold back anyone, right? But when right now, every ride, I will definitely cycle with a friend. And it's just the joy of it, la, cycling. Mm. To me, la, to right. me. Yeah. So let's backtrack a little bit, right? So is this your first bike? First road bike? Yes. Okay. My first bike. Ever, you know. Right. Yeah. So how did you, let's talk about purchasing this bike. Um, did you have a budget in mind? How did you, you know, did you get friends who introduced to you to road biking? Uh, did they advise you what bike to get? Okay, on my way here, I was keep thinking in my head because, you know, it wasn't a, like scripted or anything. Hmm. But, um, it, okay, there is this definitely a budget, lah, right? Um, but back 
back to the budget side, right? I did try a few bikes, not at the store, but my friends or anyone I, I just meet, you know, I just say, hey, can I just try a bike a while, you know? And, and they are very friendly, like, they allow me to, to do so, right? I tried, uh, I, I don't want to say brands, but of a lesser brand. Uh, and I just don't feel comfortable with, with it, you know? I said, is that it? Because uh, I do have a foldable bike and it's pretty light in weight and very fun, you know? So I, would, I was expecting a road bike to be just as good. Uh. Hmm. So, um, I did consider a titanium bike, right? But then, for some reasons, I, I okay, not not for some reasons. Just now to answer directly to your questions, right? I actually uh, thought of getting a Kenyan bike. Then I, I just go to chapter two cycle. Am I supposed to? Yeah, am I allowed to say yeah, okay? Yeah, chapter yeah. two cycles, right? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know they were uh, a distributor for not distributor, but a dealer for Cervelo as well. You know, so I, I just simply walked in there to inquire about bikes and he just uh, banned the, 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 the owner. He gave me a, a pre-bike fit yeah, and I think that, that was how it kind of started. Mm. He gave you a pre-bike fit for free? Uh, yeah, for free. And then he'd be yeah. like, okay, this is you know, what kind of bikes you should get and stuff? And the size as well, yeah. Okay. Ob- obviously, he only has Cervelo and some other stuff. Mm. But um, yeah, I mean, my, my, my ex-neighbor who who influenced me. He, he didn't influence me. I was influenced by him, right? Mm-hmm. Um, he writes, uh, he has a Cervelo as well. Mm. Right, so I'm familiar with the brand. Mm. So, yeah. Then, then how, I was surprised. Uh, like, I said, hey Ben, you, you actually carry a Cervelo. Yeah, then that was how yeah. I, I did consider about this bike. Uh. So what was the budget or was there no budget? I if you I, don't mind me asking. Yeah, I think I told him like, Seven to ten k. I don't okay. know. I just gave a, a random number, lah. Right. Even his his staff was saying, "Hey, I think that's too high, lah, bro." Mm, you know. Mm. Oh, by the way, the reason I go chapter two, right, is because I I did my my servicing there as well for my foldable bike. Mm. That was how I know the shop. Mm. Yeah. So would you uh, say that those maybe uh, newbies or those who want to get into road cycling, what should be the right budget in mind? Because maybe people might have the impression that oh, road cycling is such an expensive sport. Only like rich people, you know, go for this kind of sport. A uh, good question. Okay, I try to slow down. I think I just I speak too fast. Yeah. Apologies for <laughs> that. Uh, nervous. Uh. Okay. So, um, I'm I'm I don't mean to offend anyone. I always I'm a firm believer of buy cheap, buy twice. Okay, uh, please don't bash me. Uh. But uh, I also uh, uh, feel that affordable bikes is very important. Is is to supposed to make it accessible to everyone, right? So when they feel more uh, into the sport into the hobby they are willing to spend more right I, I don't think bikes should be so expensive to begin with mm. right um, but I think all the costs has, have gone up and I, I don't want to buy a bike and, and wish that oh I should have gone for, for that something higher mm. you know and why the budget was set as such right like 7 to 10k ish that kind of thing is because all the bikes I've seen right they are not cheap mm. Yeah, I've seen like 18,000 and I went to just specialize uh, and I see, huh, SL7, 24,000, you know, like, okay. So, so I think when I gave that 7K wasn't like too... too it was ridiculous. already a discount from that 17,000. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I did, did went to Decathlon and, and such as well. So, nothing wrong with the bikes, nothing wrong with the bikes, but it wasn't available anyway, right? And, and I just want something... Uh, maybe to add on more, I just want something that I feel like I want to ride on. Mm. You know, not just having the, the sake of having a, a bike to bring me around. Yeah. yeah. I remember when I first started or uh, wanted to get into road biking, mm. um, my friends did tell me that time I was still in college, right? They tell me that, you know, I had this budget, but you also have to factor in the cycling gear, your helmet, your shoes, mm. your socks, your bibs, your, sh- your jerseys. So, was the, how did you start picking up you know the right bibs um, jerseys shoes okay we, we never pre-planned about this uh, <laughs> but okay uh, apologies uh, my is all like Rafa right my, <laughs> my, my, my cycling cap anyway I don't normally wear cycling cap it's just that my hair is very messed up today <laughs> bad hair day so uh, yeah cycling gear but uh, okay I, I'm I won't call, consider myself a fashionista la, but I, I think cycling gear is cool also la. Right, so <clears throat> um, 
it's not so much on brand just that just that today for the interview I, I wear everything the same la, mm. right but uh, I believe in quality as well um, of course there, there's a cost to it la, but you compare to the bike <laughs> mm. you know and uh, similar uh, to to how the we're trying to recompose my thoughts um, there, there must be I mean I'm paying for quality as well la. Rafa, I, I, I'm aware that uh, Rafa takes a lot of heat as well, right? <laughs> because it, it, it's associated with like elites and, and stuff. Some, some memes, a lot of memes on, on it, right? But I just find that this brand uh, is quite value for money like, in a way. When I compare uh, similar price range and such or some lower end ones, you mm. know? Yeah. I think they have their <laughs> entry level as well, mid tier and the high end. Correct. Right? And um, you know, actually, I bought Ali Ex- my very first beats mm. or and jerseys from AliExpress. They were so bad. They were so horrible. And you know, the cycling experience was so bad because the chamois was extremely horrible, right? And yeah. it chased into your ass and your balls and everything. <laughs> it's bad. What's your suggestion, or you know, what would you recommend people to get as a starter kit? Should they get something very expensive, mid tier? I don't know. Even when, when my my cycling friend, right. Uh, her name is Jacqueline. Uh. Yeah, probably she's happy if I mention. <laughs> she gets, she has, is she I, coming on the show soon? <laughs> no, no. Get her to come on? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> no, no, she haven't, haven't gotten her first road bike. Oh, okay. Soon, soon. Right. But uh, I also encouraged her to try Rafa and she did and she was very, very happy with it until she ditched her other brand. Mm. Yeah. And the other brand is quite popular as well, you know, in Singapore. Yeah, I don't want to mention I'm going to guess. No. Australian brand, right? No, Singapore brand, I think. Singapore brand, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let's let's get into the bike. I think we can even, cut that part. It, it's okay. I let it roll out. It's okay. If you don't mind. Mm. Uh, Cervelo, Caledonia. Yes. Um, is this an all-round bike? What? Tell me more about this. Oh, they just call this an endurance bike. Okay. Yeah. So, um, being a first first time road biker, right? I just want something that's more relaxed geometry, la. Mm. Yeah, so I just thought, okay, I was all along looking at endurance and sportive bikes. Uh. Right. Yeah. So when you went to Ben, you just told him that I wanted a... Did he ask you what kind of rider you're going to be? How not, did you pick up not this? Not so bike? much. Eh. Not so much. Excuse me, I cleared my throat. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, not so much. Um, I think I was just uh, telling him that, okay, this is my first time riding. And I, I think, me, no, I think before that, I already have in my mind to endurance bike because... I was looking at uh, Kenyan Endur- and what was Endurance, it? I think. Endurance, yeah, yeah, correct. I wasn't looking at the aero, aero mm. you know, all those, uh, the aero bikes. Mm. Yeah. So I know that is probably something I start off. And of course, with uh, GCN suggestions, mm. <laughs> you know, like, like endurance bike is all you need. You know, that, that kind of, of, of thinking. Mm. Yeah. Could you run us through the bike uh, components? This is a stock bike, right? Yeah, pretty let me think everything is stock actually mm, but okay. um, two days ago I changed changed the inner tubes uh, just to try okay and yeah uh, where should I start about the bike <laughs> maybe uh, <laughs> from the top the front all the way to the back the front it's a stock anyway you said right yeah so it's this, stock uh, stock Cervelo cockpit okay at the shop right I actually called my friend uh, okay I can mention his name uh, Rahim my ex-neighbour right I asked him should I buy this bike huh? Then, then he was saying, I, I remember very clearly, he said, uh, I'm biased. La. I said, biased uh, against or what? He, he, because then I realized, oh, he also has a Cervelo. So he's very uh, encouraging on that. Then uh, there were two models. One is Caledonia, one is the Caledonia 5. Um, the Caledo- Caledonia 5 comes with a carbon seat post and a handlebar, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. So... Uh, I just asked for his opinion and just say go for it like, if you can afford. Mm. You know, it'll be more comfortable, he says. Yeah. yeah. So I went for that. Right. And increased my budget as well. <laughs> yeah. So this uh this bike comes mm. with the uh, the new Altegra 12 speed, right? Yes, correct. Okay, and it's this is a size 54. So the pre-bike fit, uh, I'm assuming chapter two told you or recommended you a size 54. Yes, correct. Have you gone for another <laughs> fit after that? Just to get things right, or that was the only fit you did? That was the only fit I did. But he also said that, okay, this is not like a final thing. So I did some adjustments through the months uh, uh, when, when I cycled. And by yourself? Yeah, by myself. And yeah, I experienced a lot of differences, especially with the, the seat height. Mm. 
right? mm. in fact it was slightly lower when when i started then i i just gradually increased would you go for another bike fit or do you think it's not necessary oh this this is something you've been asking very lately <laughs> everyone seems to recommend uh. yeah. i okay uh i might because it's highly recommended by, by my ex-neighbor anyway. Okay, I just call him Rahim, la, don't say ex-neighbor. Mm. Right. He goes for bike fit, I think every few months. Every few months? Yeah. Wow. I think he's, he's very performance driven. Mm. Uh, maybe you can talk more about him later. Yeah. I, and I want him to be on your show. Yes. Rahim, <laughs> Rahim, you're next. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Rahim, you're next. Uh, and I, I, I tell you about his bikes later. Um, okay, where, where, where was I? Okay, because I've not experienced any pain. So this... From a start, it was very comfortable to begin with. Ben, who is uh, from chapter two, he said that, okay, your stem actually can go lower, but let's s- stick with this first. Right? And I was very comfortable already. Except I just tried to uh, increase the height of my seat post. Uh. Yeah. I, to an extent, uh, once I increased, right, I don't know why, my right shoulder was like really a lot of stress and, and pain. Then I just lower back and found the sweet spot. Mm. So I feel that bike fit is not necessary until you you have a, a specific goal like am i writing in the most optimal position and such like do i want to go faster for right now 70 kilometers no tiredness or anything e- even no butt sores and stuff so for for now i don't think a bike fit is necessary how often do you write um it could be three times a week oh that's quite often yeah okay uh, so bike fit is not really necessary unless you are feeling pain. Is that what you're saying? Or maybe have a specific goal, la. mm. Like 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 you want to go faster. You know, you, you count all the watts and and stuff. Would you yeah. pay a thousand dollars for a bike fit? Oh, so, uh, sorry, your question. Would, would I pay for a thousand dollars? No, maybe five hundred. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess there are <laughs> um, uh, cheaper options, but I think. Mm. Uh, most of the high tech uh, ones, I might be wrong. Mm. But I think they are a bit on the higher side, right? Yeah, I think now most average are about six hundred. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. Back to the the, the bike. Uh, yeah, pretty much stock. Uh, Altegra, Tail Speed. The pedals are Shimano, right? Yes, Shimano. Came with Shimano. the bike, or you chose oh, no, Shimano? Have, to, have uh, actually Ben chose for me. Okay. So <laughs> it wasn't you, much of a choice. Right, right. So you like you know what whatever pedal works, just get it. For yeah, me. and he said because uh, Shimano this pedal has the uh, plus four mm spindle. Mm. I mean more suitable because I'm quite a big size rider, mm. right? So yeah. So there's a bit of shim or spacer on onto it, lah. Yes, correct. Okay, and uh, what saddle is this? Uh, Pro logo Dimension One Forty Three. How yeah. how is it so far? Comfortable. Very comfortable. Convinced yeah. by the three D stuff. I am convinced. In fact, uh, I'm on the wait list for the Argo Adaptive. There's a wait list? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's adaptive, right? The 3D <laughs> one. Not, not the, the, the S-Works Power Mirror and, and stuff. Maybe like. now you can get S-Works Power Mirror, no wait list. <laughs> but I don't know. In, in fact, they, he has stopped for the uh, which one? Antares, mm. right? But then they asked me, are you comfortable with this? I said, yes. Then they, they suggested just stick with short nose because this is considered short nose. Mm. Antares is the longer one. Mm. Mm. And what wheel sets are these? Well, wheel set, uh, yeah, this is uh, reserve wheels. And I made a mistake. I, when I texted you, I said new reserve because I copied and pasted from Cervelo. Uh. But it's just simply reserve. Okay. I think there's questions on that. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, leave the questions Okay, to we can users. do that later. Yeah. And um, <coughs> what is the weight? Will, will you be weighing later? I'm, yeah, I'm going to wait, but I'm going to hear from you. I think the time at the shop, we weighed about 8.2. Mm. Yeah, but that was with the pedals and, and I can't and remember what else. La. And you are running a, I'm going to guess it's a Garmin? Looks like yes, a Garmin. Garmin. 520? A 530. 530. Yeah. Um, so as a, as a new cyclist, right, is it important to have a cycling computer? You don't, do you have a power meter? No. Will you get one? Okay, you see, the thing is, I wanted a SRAM Force. Uh, this Caledonia 5 k do come with a power meter, but it's so loud. Mm. So, so which power meter do you come with? No, I think it's, it's part of SRAM Force. Oh, SRAM Force. Sorry. Yes, correct. Okay. So okay. It, the, the configuration because I want I want things that are stock. So actually, Ben said, "Oh, we can swap out the the stock parts and and swap." But I didn't want that. I want everything factory. You know, uh, I'll explain that maybe <coughs> later. <coughs> but um, yeah, then I actually asked his mechanic aside. You know, I, I, not not Ben. I just asked his mechanic, which do you which group set do you prefer to to work with? Then the guy said Shimano actually. So okay, then we just stick with Shimano. But um, 
back to your question, right? Uh, I don't really need a power meter. But of course, if it's come with, if it comes with it, of course, why not, right? And actually, at the same price. Coming back to the question on the mechanic, why yeah. did he choose Shimano? Do you know? Oh, uh, because uh, Shrem wasn't available. But he, but he said he prefers to work on Shimano, or oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't ask in, uh, ask okay. in detail, yeah. I would think SRAM would be easier to work with the <laughs> fact that it is but, but now this is also wireless, uh, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Um, <laughs> forget what I just asked. <laughs> so overall, um, what's your review like on this frame? Um, Let's talk about pros and cons. Pros, I like, I like everything stop. Um, we'll, we'll get to the wheel later, <clears throat> answering your, quest, your question. Um, oh, I, I recall. Why? why I bought this bike, the colour. Mm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, call me vain, but I want something that appeals to me. You know, uh, because, yeah, there are a lot of bikes during the time when I, I was considering also Kenyan being one, because of the blue, then uh, he also recommended me Cannondale Cat 13. I don't mind aluminium, because I, I, I read the reviews and, and I know it's a good bike, but it only comes with in comes in matte black or something yeah and i i don't really like full black Cons? so uh, yeah sorry go ahead yeah so so when uh his his showroom do have a caledonia and i said what what is this color yeah mm. so it was the the color mm. what about the cons any cons the cons um i would say because this is an endurance bike so it's really a longer wheelbase, uh, not as nimble as a race bike. But one con between Caledonia 5 and Caledonia, right, uh, was a bit disappointed, is Caledonia comes with this top tube mount. So you can just simply screw in. But Caledonia 5, they remove it. Top tube mount? Yeah. What's that? So you can put the, uh, I think they call it bento, bento back. Oh. Yeah, so okay. you can just like tighten it. You know, you don't have the strap or anything, it's just mm. mount. So there are screws on, on the frame? Yeah, on the top tube there. Like it's like a gravel bike, right? I think usually gravel bikes have. have yeah, but you, you know this bike can go up, uh, up to I think thirty four mm. Yeah, I can see yeah, a lot of clearance. Even comes with the fender mounts. What is the width of the tires? This one is twenty eight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, in stock, mm, mm. Do you think you'll ever move on to a more racier geometry bike? Are you gonna hold on to this one? I I might. I might. Uh, <laughs> I actually did ask about the Cervelo S5 uh. Uh, a few days ago, but no, no, no rush. It's just to get a feel of of the pricing. That's all. I, I, but I'm very comfortable with with this bike, and it'll be with me for a long time, I guess. Mm. Um, I think I have a couple of questions, but I forgot. How do you maintain your bike? Do you maintain it often? Uh, as often as I can. Just wiping it down, or you spray with water. Um. Okay, for my, okay, I don't don't mind. I share about my foldable bike. I I wash almost every ride, but foldable bike gets more e dirty actually. Road bike not so much. How so come? basically, uh, I think, um, I think on on the terrain uh, PCN and stuff uh, is really much more dirty. Uh. <laughs> and I would think also one thing is that uh, foldable bike is lower, right? So the the group set is actually lower. It it, it has more grip. Yeah, mm. easily. So I, I do a very thorough one and I enjoy washing. Mm. Oh, my, my friends know about that. Oh, can I send a bike to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone says that. Like, I say, yeah, please, please send it over. Oh, I've got no time to wash, but I think it's a very good habit that you need to keep maintaining your bike, right? After every ride. Not so much on maintaining, now. but I do enjoy it. Mm. it. You know, like it's therapeutic for me. Mm. Yeah. Do you know how to change the tires, the tubes? My friend did teach me. La. Yeah. But uh, I've, not, I've not done it so far, thankfully. <laughs> what do you think are uh, uh, maintaining tips or some tips that you can give to newbie riders about your road bike? Like something like changing tubes, you need to know how to do that. Lubing your chain. Um, of course, I think knowledge is important, right? But right now, I'm, I'm not so worried because it's Singapore. If your tire, your inner tube bursts or what, you can simply call a cap. Even for a road bike, you can just simply remove one tire. It's not so bad. Um, tips for new riders. I mean, because you, you, you were once there. Mm. Uh, I'm still a new rider. <laughs> I, will, I will still consider myself as a new novice. Yeah. I, not so much on the technical stuff. La. Just buy a bike that you feel that you want to ride daily. La.
let's move on to the Instagram Q&A. If you guys want to ask your questions, you can follow me on Instagram and you get a chance to submit your questions. All right, we've got a couple of questions. The first one, what is tire clearance? The, I mean, maximum 34 mm. Oh, yeah, that's quite huge already. <laughs> yeah. But it's whether your wheel sets allow for 34 or so, right? Uh, no, this one allows. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this user asks, he has always wondered where the stock reserve wheels are from. Is it a Cervelo subsidiary company? Oh yeah, it is uh, by Santa Cruz, the sister company. Oh, Santa Cruz is a sister company. Yeah. Okay. So, um, just like other bikes, in, in fact, I was actually considering uh, Cannondale because they have like Hunt wheels, if I'm not mistaken. Then uh, it's just like Roval with Specialized. Uh. So, Reserve comes with uh, Cervelo. Mm. In fact, during that time, right, if you pick uh, SRAM Force, uh, it comes with zip wheels. You're running Garmin Varia, right? If Garmin yes, Varia. the front line. Wow, they can spot. <laughs> must zoom in. Oh, the front one is a Varia. Yes. The real one? What no, the real is just uh, the Moon Cerberus. So, okay, I, I'm familiar with the Garmin real light, the one with the proximity sensor. Yeah. But this one is just a light only, right? Yes, just a light. But it has some smart features which I never enable. La. Okay. The question yeah. is, is the Garmin Varia worth it? Worth it when you buy it on sale. La. Uh, just just for a price point. La, because I think it's always like, SRP is like 200 over dollars. I bought it less than 100 dollars on Amazon. Mm. And occasionally Amazon drop the price. So once you you see like hit below, 100 and below, right? Just grab it. Back to your wheel sets. Mm. The front, oh sorry, the rear is 33 millimeters, but the front is 31, is it? Oh, you mean the width? Is it? Is the width? No, right? No, but I, I think it's right? how deep it is, right? For front is 40, rear is 44. Oh, and sorry, yeah, the, okay. Yeah. Maybe this user got it wrong. So the question is, do you feel more aero because of this combination? <laughs> I have no idea about aero. <laughs> yeah. 8.2 kilograms. What makes this bike so heavy? I guess because of the uh, longer wheelbase. Uh. The, the, the bike itself is larger. What will be your next upgrade? Not so soon, but probably uh, a more aero bike. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Which one are you looking at? I mentioned earlier could be the S5. S5. Uh, maybe it's a, a brand thing. I have no idea. I, I have quite the, I mean, brand loyalty like, like you see Rafa <laughs> here, you know. All right. Uh, last question is on the wheel set. Mm. Uh, I think we missed to answer just now. So two parts. One is how are the reserve wheels? Second one is how do you find the reserve wheels? Are they stiff? Okay, I have nothing to compare on. But reserve wheels, right? Okay, why? Okay, I, I do my own homework. It's not that I go there and just say, okay, take my money and buy this bike. Uh, it's still a lot of money, you know. But the reserve wheels, when I went to the website, it says no weight, no rider weight limit. Mm. You know, because I'm a big guy. When a company can write such thing, such claim and lifetime warranty and all, right, it gives me the confidence that, okay, they, this, this, this wheel can take my weight and stuff. Mm. Yeah, it's more on the reliability. Mm. Yeah. That's all the questions that I have. Uh, do you have anything else you want like to discuss about? Mm. Mm. Not entirely. <laughs> yeah, I always lo lose my train of thought yeah. also. Except uh, Rahim, please come on the show. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to mention about Rahim, right? Yeah. He have. I'm not sure whether I'm allowed to mention his bikes, lah. But he has a Bastion, which I think have never. You you don't have any Bastion in your show. I think he's a super. Super Leggera or something. Mm. Yeah. Then he has a Cervelo S5 and a one very rare Cervelo. Rare Cervelo? Wow. Yeah. How rare is it? <laughs> Why uh, is it rare? The frame is 670 grams. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't mention that, uh, but if you know, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. But I'm more keen on the Bastion because I have not filmed a Bastion and yeah, I you, think you it's should. a nice looking bike. Be because, oh yeah, he also has a Scarab Cycle bike. So okay. it's a steel bike. Mm. He he has a, he's very passionate about that, and that that's what drawn me into like maybe I should try cycling as well, you know, to understand what's the the love of it, you yeah. know. And Bastion is uh, custom geometry as well. I think they are three D printed uh, frames, right, from Australia. I I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Can you help me hook me up with Rahim? <laughs> <You should. laughs> help me convince him. I think if you go riding with him, please brainwash him. Um, yeah. Yeah, Melvin, thank you so much. I think uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, anything else? I think 
one last thing la. go okay. ahead you, you guys can 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 stop watching yeah. <laughs> but i think uh, i just recall just now about the bike right why i want everything stopped um it, it is an expensive bike i'm not trying to justify because just now you mentioned about the price and, and all I'm, I'm very worried also for new riders who feel that hey i need to spend so much for for a bike um i just want the whole package you know it, it's, it's pretty much like you buy a computer you know you have like alienware and, and, and stuff but you can actually go to simlim square and just custom build your own nothing wrong with, with that but i just want everything as, as a package as, as simple as that. And, and this group set is pretty much like intel and amd you know mm. whichever you choose there's no right or wrong yeah so yeah do you think it's cheaper to buy a complete bike rather than building it up yourself for, for i'm talking about a, a newbie someone's coming into the spot I think building up yourself might be cheaper, but I think it's also a marriage of components. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a good question because like the wheels that come with it, everything, I don't have to, to headache, right? Is it really that compatible? Okay. Okay. I mean, compatibility shouldn't be an issue, but since the bike manufacturer put everything together, mm. I'm, I'm sure there are engineers and stuff, although and BD might not approve, <laughs> la, right? <laughs> you know, about the BB and all that stuff. But I believe they they, they are smart enough to, you know, uh, to, to piece everything together. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> did I miss anything else? <laughs> no, I think that's about all. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Melvin, thank you so much. Thank you uh, for having really me. I really appreciate you coming on, uh, decide, uh, decided to come on to the show and sharing your, your thoughts about the bike and uh, you as a, you know, someone who came from a folding bike into a road bike. Hopefully that will inspire more people to pick up road cycling. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. It, it is a good thing because more cyclists, right, uh, especially if they are drivers, then now they cycle. Now then they know, okay, I should actually <laughs> give way to them. Then they always say, never pay road tax, simply ride in the road. I think your father's grandfather's road. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has the right to use the road. Like. But yeah. never pay for road tax, never go for road driving school. Is, road tax is because of the emissions and stuff. <laughs> right, and road maintenance as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, again, thank you so much, Melvin. Okay. And see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Driving all day, searching all night. Can't seem to focus this double side. This is a tale. Swoon in the side